It is Saturday today and I've woken up feeling very, very anxious and very, very horrible. Which made me feel like I don't want to vlog at all today because it's very difficult if you feel this way to want to vlog. Um, but I think the whole moving process and being out of my space and let me just show you where like this room right now. So this is all of our stuff. This is our stuff that we're kind of living from. That's just a terrible mess because there's nowhere to put it. And this is lots of our things that we brought down a few weeks ago and I'm like a sim. Like if my environment is messy, it really affects my well-being and I, I'm like a sim in every way. I feel like humans are. I know this is a weird analogy, but if I don't sleep enough or if my sleeping pattern is funny, I feel worse, like mentally. If I don't exercise or move my body, I feel worse mentally. And if I don't eat usually properly, I feel worse mentally. Hello. Yeah. Right. Alex is being very sweet and being nice and helping me tidy. I can't find it. What are you looking for? The yoga mat. He's trying to find the yoga mat. I it's okay, I can use that one. I was looking next door, but I assume we wouldn't have left it in there because you would have wanted it to use before we moved. I have no idea where I put it, but there's what there's a mat there I can use. Yeah, normally it's really easy to find. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll keep tidying. Thank you. Alex is so sweet. I I talk about this a lot on my channel that I think and like on Instagram too, that I think that people don't put enough emphasis onto basic human needs and this is something that all of us need to be reminded of especially if you suffer from anxiety depression anything like that you need to remember that you're a human you've got to take care of yourself and it's really difficult because when you are depressed or if you're feeling anxious you the last thing you want to do is do exercise or eat properly or anything like that because you just feel crap but it's so important like when I have a routine when I like if I feel really anxious in Brighton, for example, like in my normal routine, my normal day, I'm feeling stressed that day, and I go to the gym, I come home feeling so much better, I feel fine, because it just exerts that energy, and that works for me, because when I get anxious and stressed, I feel like it all gets tensed up in my body, and it's like this energy needs to be released. So when I exercise, because I've always loved physical exercise, it just gets expelled. Um, and similarly with yoga, if I feel very tense in the morning or whatever, and I just need a moment to breathe and calm down, yoga really, really helps. But yeah, it's because we've been because we've recently come down here and we've been here for the last week i haven't exercised at all i've been staying up really light, like i mentioned in the last vlog um and sleeping in for some reason i guess i'm really excited during the day for everything kind of like almost anxious too um excitement and anxiety can kind of come in the same waves for me um and then I sleep in, and so my sleeping isn't normal. I also haven't been eating as I usually do, so I've not been um, having breakfast sometimes, and then I'll have like, I don't know, too much food in one go, which has affected me, and I've got IBS at the minute. I'm having a bit of a flare up because I've not been doing yoga, and it all just goes round in a circle. <laughs> like, it's all just one and the same, and it just, if you don't have your things, you, if you're, if all those things are off, like I imagine myself like a sim, if all those bars are down, how the hell are you going to get anything done? Also, I've not been doing work apart from like vlogmas, which isn't like normal work for me. So I've not been filming my usual videos or making recipes, which brings me so much happiness. Um, vlogmas does too, but like it's a different, it's not a routine, it's not what I'm used to. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that because I know lots of people go through the similar thing and sometimes it's important to remember that usually it's there's a reason or usually there's something that's triggered it or there's something that can be changed or helped. Maybe you feel anxious because you didn't get as good a night's sleep or maybe um, you haven't spoken to someone recently or maybe you your, your food, your eating or your nutrition was kind of like off for the last week and that, you know, when you don't get enough sustenance and the right foods um like if i eat loads of yummy vegetables and fruits and lovely things i just feel better i mean that's a given isn't it um so yeah and when i exercise too it's all these things i'm going around in circles but i feel very anxious do you know what actually i picked up this camera because i thought i should pick up the camera and talk about this because it will probably make me feel better and it has because talking about it is huge too and um i'm so thankful for alex because I'm lucky enough to have someone I can talk to about these things. If you don't have anyone to talk to, then write it down, I would recommend. If you feel like I could not talk to anyone about this, 
and write it down because at least it's going somewhere um, and in a way you are talking to someone or you know pray you don't have to be religious to pray it's the same as meditation I suppose just sit with yourself and speak to someone um, anyway I'm getting far too into this I thought I would share that and if we don't vlog too much today at least I have been able to explain that not everyone is always happy all the time like vlogmas or daily vlogs can make you seem um, and everyone goes through it everyone does experience these feelings and it's normal so what I'm gonna do my plan of action so I'm, I'm quite good at this now because I understand myself so my plan of action I plaited my hair because my hair was I don't know I have this thing like my hair like gets irritating and it like annoys me <laughs> when I feel anxious so I plait my hair whenever I feel like that and it calms me down <laughs> is that really weird so my hair's at my face I'm going to do a little bit of exercise do a little bit of yoga because that will really like just release a lot of tension and I've had a really nice breakfast Alex was really sweet and got me breakfast and then I'm going to tidy this room up because since we've been down all of the our clothes are just all over the floor everywhere and then I'm going to think about maybe filming a main channel video and doing some normal work and this is another thing that's a bit tricky because obviously I'm here with my family and um, everyone wants to do fun things I feel like I have to be doing that and then I don't work and then I feel guilty about not working. So my sister and my dad have just gone to get a Christmas tree and they're gonna to wanna to decorate it and they're gonna probably want me to help decorate it. But I do wanna decorate the tree, but also I really wanna do some work because I need to, because I have a sponsorship I need to do. So it's like this battle, it's like I really wanna do that but also, and they'll probably be upset if I don't. But then I really need to film a video and then the light's gonna go and I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know, I need to think about that and plan my day. but. We will see. Breathe, Maddie, breathe. <laughs> but I'm gonna take it one step at a time. First things first, I'm gonna do some exercise. I'm gonna drink some water and then I'll make myself a nice and healthy lunch. That was so difficult. I'll leave a link to the, the workout I did down below. Oh, it really notices when you take a week off. <laughs> now I'm gonna do some yoga to chill out. <laughs> what some yoga and exercise can do for you. I love this woman. This woman saves lives. Honestly, like, she is an amazing woman. I love her so much. And a lot of people have asked me because I mentioned yoga a while ago that I'd started doing it. As you can see, I'm not flexible. I'm very tight. Um, I'm a tall person. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that I'm not very flexible. And I wanna share that I'm doing yoga as someone who is a beginner and who isn't flexible, but that is not what yoga is about. You don't have to pull poses and be good at yoga to do it. I wanna like tell you that if you've not, if you're struggling with anxiety, depression, any sort of um, illnesses uh, like IBS, or if you get headaches regularly, or if you're feeling stressed, please try yoga. Try yoga with Adrienne. She has, I've done her 30 days with yoga and now I'm doing her True series. And I've done like various, sometimes I just pick some one at random, but um, I've really neglected yoga this past month and not been doing it like I used to do it like every single day. And I've been doing it just when I can. And I think it's so important for me to remind myself I do have 20 minutes because her ex her routines are usually 20 minutes. Sometimes she has a 45 minute one, but the one that she did today, like it started off with a breathing exercise you might have seen when you plug your nostrils. And she was saying how this is great for anxiety. And every time I do her yoga, she talks about something that's so relevant to me that day. And I don't know if that's just a coincidence, but like on days when I'm feeling like really like bad about myself, she'll t start talking about having confidence and. Um, not not thinking bad thoughts and then on days when I'm really anxious she'll um, talk about anxiety and it's just like ah oh, I feel so much better now and I'm gonna shower and I feel like a new woman really really do I truly believe when it comes to mental health 
physical movement and f taking care of your physical body just is huge. Your body and your brain are so, so connected and it's crazy the difference it can make. So you don't have to go and do go to the gym or do anything scary like that. You just go for a walk, do some yoga, um, do some jumping jacks, like anything. And um, it's bound to increase your happiness levels. Oh look, Alex has given it a nice little tidy. He's like cleared here and put all these things neatly here. He's a little angel. I love him. That woman saves lives too. She puts me in my happy place. Have you seen this Spotify 2018 wrapped and it shows you your top songs of 2018? It's so cool. It shows you all your favorite songs of the year. If I don't say so myself, I've got great taste in music. <laughs> No, but it like really like sums it up. It's so interesting. This is a song that always relaxes me. I've probably listened to it more than any other song ever. Um, I've been listening to it to put myself to sleep since I was maybe 15. Um, hello. I feel like I'm taking you through the process of how to make myself feel better. And one of them being stroking my little kitty. Hello, Frankie. Frankie, look at the camera. But I just feel so much better now. Um, it's ridiculous, like two different people. Pampering myself and taking time to shower slowly with no pressure and, cause sometimes when you shower, it's like, oh, I've got to shower, I've got to go. So I showered slowly, I shaved my legs. I didn't wash my hair cause I don't need to. Um, but I washed my face, put moisturizer on and that can make you feel a lot better. Cause I don't know about you, but when I start to feel <coughs> about myself, I don't really bother um, taking care of myself. I don't bother moisturizing. Um, I might skip a shower and um, that always makes me feel fresh and I've got my um, hoodie on, my eat happy hoodie on which is super soft and cosy and then cosy trousers that's another thing, putting cosy clothes on. I feel like I'm taking you through what I do when I feel like this uh, <laughs> and now I'm gonna go and make um, make some nice lunch. Um, it's all about getting comfortable, comfortable and having having things that you know will make you happy including you. You make me happy, Frankie. Listen to that purr. This is not an example of what I'm going to be eating. No. Hey, that bread's good though, it's got salad in it. I say bread, This looks sandwich. delicious. It is very nice, you need to get that bread. Do I make a sandwich or do I make something else? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want. I didn't quite finish hoovering because it ran out of battery. <gasps> And then we got all the stuff out of the attic, so we're gonna... Oh, there's lots of really lovely bread and I think a sandwich would be quite easy to make. Yeah, I left you the cheese. I don't have the cheese because I thought you might want it. We've got cheese, tomato, rocket. But we need to use this bread up. Yeah, but that bread's so much better. <laughs> it's only one day older. Okay. I mean, newer. Yeah, but the other stuff was reduced, so it's a bit more than one day. Yeah, but there's four or five of us. I think we'll get through the bread. Mmm. It's like, don't you wish you could do that as a human? Don't you wish you could I fold? Do I do. When I'm in bed, I do do that. No, but don't you wish you could fold up like that? Do you reckon he's cold? No. It's warm in here. He's on a nice warm duvet in a warm room. I don't want to disturb him though. No. You can really tell he's the runt of the litter. He's so little. Oh, God. 